Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, tonight, uh, I am going to be doing some uh, Faroa mite treatment uh, with oxalic acid uh, vaporizer. And I uh, just wanted to go through uh, what I'm going to be doing. Now I bought this uh, online for uh, about I don't know, $79, you can get them between $79 and $69, uh, just depending on where you buy it from. Um, but this box right here, this is a new package of bees that I got on Monday. It came in a package, so they haven't yet started um, laying any eggs or, or there's no brood yet. So this is actually probably a good time in the spring to do this. Now it's the end of May. Um, again, this is a brand new package of these. Uh, I have two um, nukes that I installed, but uh, I'm not going to be doing them because they obviously came full of brood. I won't be doing those until fall when the queen shuts down um, laying brood. And, uh, and so we're just going to take care of this one. I just figured it'd be a perfect time to do it. Uh, now I did a test earlier. And uh, this is uh, actually, why don't we just go over it now. This is uh, oxalic acid. This is the stuff you can buy it on Amazon. Um, it's 99.6% pure. This is two pounds and it was about $9 on Amazon. Uh, so the uh, to treat one box of brood or one box of uh, bees is uh, a quarter of a teaspoon. So as you can tell, this is going to last quite a while. I just couldn't find it in any smaller quantities. Um, so the, yeah, the rate for vaporizing is, is a, a, a quarter of a teaspoon. So um, we're just going to get going here. And like I said, I, I did a test earlier today and it took uh, four minutes to completely vaporize uh, the oxalic acid. Um, granules inside of this vaporizer so that is going to be my baseline so I'm going to seal it up in the hive for hello bud Come on. over here for about uh, four minutes exactly and then uh, I'll disconnect the battery now you got to bring a you got to bring a battery with you um, I brought my tractor instead so so I didn't because I didn't want to haul around a battery so uh, it has a uh, a 12 volt battery and that's all and the leads are long enough so that's what I'm going to use. So we're just going to get started here. Now one of the things that they say is you, if you're doing multiple hives you want to make sure that this is cool before you put it in uh, and disconnect it right away. You don't want to leave it any for any extended length of time because this is extremely hot and uh, you can actually burn the bees. So um, I, I touched it just to see how hot it was and Man, oh man, it's hot. So um, one of the things that it, 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 uh, it uh, tells you to do is to wear a mask and, um, and protective goggles um, and also protective gloves, which I uh, obviously didn't bring. This hive is not very uh, lively. I waited till tonight. I was going to do it during the day, but you know what? Most of the bees are home now, so that's a good time to do it either in the early morning or at night. So that's what we're gonna do. First thing I'm gonna do is actually just pull out this, this uh, entrance reducer if I can. So I don't piss off the bees. There we go. Okay. We'll just remove that. The bees were chasing me there for a minute. This, uh, this hive came from Kelly Bees, and uh, the screen actually comes out a bit, uh, which makes for a, a uh, ultra-tight uh, hive reducer bar. Uh, Kelly, they, they actually, uh, this is, uh, Kelly Bees doesn't make it, it's a uh, little giant that makes it. And they are aware, they knew that they had a quality control problem when they built these things, but so be it. So we're just gonna get started here. I'm gonna actually just hook up the ground to start. Put a 
Okay. So, I reach in here, grab a quarter of a teaspoon, and we'll set the quarter of a teaspoon in there. I'm actually going to look and see where the center is. Oh, about here, I would guess, so I'm going to leave about an inch. Right there. Whoa. And then uh, we're going to grab a towel here and really piss them off. And just lay it over the, the entrance for now until this is all done. Okay, we're gonna hook up our ground. As soon as I get this thing set, I'm going to uh, run the clock to timer for uh, exactly four minutes. Stopwatch. Reset, okay. So here we go. We're going to start it now. There we go. Set that right up there. And like I said, I did a test run and it was almost exactly four minutes before it all, all came out. So let's just clean this up a little bit. Yeah, this is the same stuff that they use for... Uh, Stainless steel cleanse cleaners, cleansers, oxalic acid uh, that they sell in shakers to uh, clean your uh, stainless steel pots and pans and, and everything. That's why it's uh, it's not that not that pricey. You never want to do this when there's a honey flow on. Uh, matter of fact, yeah, you want to take your supers off uh, before you do this, and then. Uh, <laughs> Not put them on for about 14 days afterward. Now I have a mic board installed on the back side of this. So uh, after this is done, in, a, in another 24 hours, I'm going to come out and take a look and see if there's any, any mites, any dead mites. Now you can see that there's vapor coming out. That was about 2.30 when vapor started. I could start seeing it coming out. We're at about 3.30 right now. You can see the, the smoke really coming out, the vapor. Mosquitoes are out in full force tonight. All right, that's four minutes exactly. So we're gonna take the positive lead off and the negative lead, and I'm gonna let that cool down. And uh, let the vapor do its thing for a while here. pretty good there so we're just gonna pull this off and uh, let the bees out Whew. he landed on my finger oh. and that's all there is to it you can see a, hear a big hum inside the hive there like they were a little unhappy about it but uh, wasn't like they were clamoring to get out. This is still very, very warm. So, uh, well, that's it. We're going to put this uh, reducer back on here. And, uh, and 
that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching. Happy beekeeping.